Hello, welcome to Kitchen Counter Crafts. If you like this video, would you please like, comment, share, and subscribe. For today's video, I wanted to cover something that uh, we just finished. My daughter and I both read the whole entire Bible from Genesis to Revelation in 30 days. And I think when I first heard about this, uh, I honestly didn't think it was possible to do that. But then um, I was really challenged because I'm a very, very big reader and I can, I can read, you know, fiction, no problems. I can read a book this thick in a couple of weeks. And so I thought if I can read that, why can't I read the Bible? So the woman who challenged me said that you can do anything for 30 days. And I really appreciated that because the whole thing is just try it and it might seem very daunting at first but I just want to give you a few tips in this video on why it's important and then also how to go about doing it so why it's important is pretty obvious number one it's because it's the Bible it's God's Word and it is really it's profitable for everything for our life it has everything that we need in terms of wisdom and understanding and also the most important thing about that is it's God's word it's the way we draw closer to him and so you the, the other big thing is that you're starting at Genesis and you're going through the Old Testament and then the New Testament and the way we did it the first time and the second time so I've done this twice now um, they, you can basically, it's 66 books. And so you divide that up into like four weeks is how we did it. And you end up reading almost all, well, not almost, but the entire Old Testament, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, let's see, there we go. So you start reading this much in about three weeks, and then this is about a week. So again, I know people in the beginning, they're just kind of freaking out like, this is not possible. How can this be possible? And how do you even remember anything? And when, when you pray before you read, I think it's going to really help you. I think ask the Lord, ask the Holy Spirit to give you good recall and to give you understanding into God's word. It's not just like zipping through the Bible because that's one of the things that I thought was going to happen and it is just not it. So there's several things that are really good. The third thing about reading the Bible in 30 days is that you go from Genesis to Revelation. I mean, obviously you're reading the entire thing, but what's not obvious is that the big picture that you get in 30 days is really amazing. It's hard for me to describe it. I had never done anything like that. I had started reading the Bible in a year. I, ha I, I cannot concentrate on anything. And if you're like me, I mean, you run out of steam somewhere. I don't know. For me, it was like end of January, beginning of February. By like Valentine's Day, I was done. That's only six weeks into it. I couldn't even hack it. And so I kind of, you know, dibbled here and there. And finally, I ended up reading it. But it took me like a good year and a half to do it. Uh, but 30 days, like my friend challenged me, you can do anything for 30 days. So how do you do this? One of the best things to do is to go to Ligonier and they have this uh, Bible reading plan. This one is www.esv.org Bible reading plans. You can do this one. What I did was the first time through, I was really encouraged by my friend to do it chronologically so I could see the, the big picture again in the way that the event unfolded so that I could have a better understanding of what takes place when. And so you just download the reading plan. Okay, let me tell you a little bit about this reading plan. So if you see, I have like one, two, three, four, like that. So you're basically committing. What I wanted to do was like 12 days of reading because I didn't want to fall behind. So I did 12 days of reading per one day. So 12 days of the year, so January 1 through 12, is one day of reading. And then here you go, January 13th through 24th is day two, and the third one is here. So 
I went through and really printed this off. Actually, my friend printed it. And then I started just kind of marking some of these things that I thought were important here. And then you end up, if you do 12 days of reading at a time, you are gonna end up at right at 30 days. And your last day, it's quite a bit here, but it's not really quite a bit because these are really small books. And they take maybe, honestly, like, 10 minutes or less to read so it's really not that much at the end so um I loved it I absolutely loved it the first time it was very daunting um and by the way I'm going to put a link to the bible reading plan down um in the in the description box but I will tell you I didn't think I was going to get anything out of it and I decided I'm just going to go ahead and start jotting down some notes. And so I just grabbed a notebook and I should have grabbed one that was blank and didn't have any writing in the beginning. But this one I used for a study of Ephesians. And then I started my 30 day Bible plan. And you can tell like I have some question marks here like Genesis or no Exodus 4, 24, 25. And then I have another question here. And then I have the Trinity and um, like a God changed his mind and some other types of notes, but it was not a cursory reading. Even though you are going through this quite a bit, I had notes on every, I mean, on everything, on the Psalms, on Second Samuel, on Isaiah, um, go on and on and on. I, I have notes on just about everything. Um, I love doing Bible journaling and art, and so I've got uh, just the Nebuchadnezzar's dream written out uh, and a couple just little sketches that help me to figure out. But the most important thing I want to point out is that as you have, as you have uh, questions, jot them down. You don't ha even have to take notes like I did, but if there's something important, you're making connection, you can put a asterisk by it and then that way when you're reading through again you have just some notes that you're jotting down but it was fantastic it is so fantastic and to be able to go through and even see where you're at and I dated each of my days the very first time through so I could just kind of see how quickly I was getting through the bible but really all you need is this Thing here that's gonna help to keep you on task and on pace all right so now how do you do it my friend again she told me that these sections are going to be equivalent of about two hours to two and a half hours worth of reading depends on how fast you read since I wanted to actually read for understanding I, I slowed it down so for me it took about two and a half hours per day yes two and a half hours per day. Um, if you find yourself saying, uh, no, I can't do this. I work full time. I do, you know, X, Y, and Z. Uh, the first time I did this was last year. I had a full-time job and a part-time job. So I was working two jobs and then was able to do it. It took me 35 days, but that's better than a year and a half. And so the whole thing is you're racing against yourself. Your goal really is 30 but wherever you end up is really an accomplishment because you're going through God's word and you are again trying to do it for understanding. So um, about two and a half hours a day. So um, I did the, in the morning I'm kind of dysfunctional. So my understanding level is not so good. So I was starting like half an hour around breakfast time and that was not working out very well for me because my reading comprehension was just not there because I was asleep. And so for me, what really worked well was I did some reading at lunchtime. So when I got off for lunch, I did my reading at that time and then I did an hour and a half in the evening or two hours just depending on how much I got done and then these are my bible notes for this year so you're looking at again about two and a half hours which is kind of standard for most people and another way to do this is and by the way these are my notes for this year I started with a full you know like ahead of time and then I also jotted down notes of like when I started took me 35 days when I finished and this year I kind of did it almost exactly 
at the same time that I ended last year, which is kind of fun. And then when I did the OT and then went how long it took me to do the New Testament. And then I tried a 66 day plan that didn't go very well. So I'm sticking to the 30 just because you can do anything for 30 days, right? Like my friend said. So these are my notes from this year. And again, I'm just going to tell you that, oh, there's Solomon's temple. I'm, I'm going to just tell you, you will have comprehension. Uh, just pray and ask the Lord to help you and you will end up doing a really great job. So I just, I hope this is encouraging for you um, because you end up with so much, just so much joy in God's word. Um, and again, I started doing like one page summaries this year, which I think is, is super helpful just for me. I wrote down some Psalms. So I even had time to just jot down notes and yes or no, I was not working a full-time job this year, uh, although there was a lot going on and I don't know how I did it last year with God's help. I, I know that. So anyway, I hope that this will encourage you to take some notes, do some reading. Oh, one more tip before I go. And that is I pulled up um, the Bible NASB. So I pulled up Genesis and ASB, even though, well, I think I was reading from NASB. No, ESV. Yeah, I was reading ESV on this one. And I pulled up NASB just because I like the guy's voice. It's very robotic. And you can actually, it's not annoying, in other words. You can move it up to like 1.5 times the speed on YouTube. And what that does for you is it does speed him up and he's kind of slow to begin with, like put you to sleep slow. But uh, if you move it to 1.5, it goes by faster and it forces you to pay attention. And what we, my daughter and I did was we read along like with our, you know, hands as he was reading. And this is not like a Thing, but like if the genealogies or the book of numbers kind of freaks you out just speed it along even faster if you want to because you know yes it's it is every word is inspired by god but some of the words can be a little bit tedious so you can move through those fairly quickly so that's a really nice tip i think that i would like to pass along also you can spend some time just listening to the bible like books that you're super familiar with like um I'm still memorizing Ephesians, but I'm very familiar with it. You can listen to it in the car. But at the same time, I went back and just read through it just because I wanted to be reading the Bible. So hopefully this will be helpful to you. I really think you need to just try it. If you hate it, uh, you don't have to do it again. It's only 30 days. And by the way, it studies have shown that it takes 30 days to develop a new habit and after the 30 days are gone there's this sense of relief um I'll, again it's that you've done it you've accomplished something but then all of a sudden you're like oh well day 31 you're like uh what should i do so it's great to then just pick up like the book of psalms and read through those that's what i did in between um time i spent a year in the book of psalms and so it's just wonderful i think um something like this is exciting and wonderful and so challenge yourself grab a friend have some accountability grab a kid and have some accountability they will hold you to task so with that i hope you found it helpful and if you have any questions would you just send me um, some comments and i will be happy to answer or find an answer for you until next time bye